If you want to be a good baseball player, you got to strike out a lot and you got to make a lot of mistakes. When you're younger, you don't really lean into hard things. You got to realize if something's hard, it's probably going to help you. I approached the coaches in the fall of my freshman year, so it was immediate. I was distancing myself from everybody. Uh, I was not as involved as I could be. I was holding myself back. So I approached the coaches and I said, like, look, I'm just uncomfortable. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know if I fit in here. I don't know if this team is right for me. There was some talk coming out of high school that he might be a pro draft, and I know he was kicking that around a little bit, whether he wanted to turn pro or come to school. And so thankfully for us, he came to Michigan State, but it was a tough adjustment period for him. You know, he's got a twin sister who they were apart for the first time, uh, really probably in their lives. And so I think that was very difficult for him. We talked about the struggles a little bit freshman year, just kind of getting acclimated to the new environment. Um, school's harder, baseball's a lot harder and it's sped up, but, and then COVID happened and we kind of stayed in communication. I was just waiting for something to occur that we could play baseball. So I played a little bit in the summer, got to play like 10 games and then I hurt my shoulder. I got labrum surgery. so. I was out another like seven-ish months. So when you add COVID and the injury, it was like a year and a half off from playing. I honestly got to a point where I was like, okay, not playing baseball. And I realized, you know, there's other things I'm good at. There's other things I can do in this world, I felt like. And I got to a point where I didn't know if I really loved playing anymore. We talked about a little bit and I kind of helped him out with what I could, but at the same time, I mean, I didn't really know what he was going through. Play with your head up, okay? Keep your eyes up all the time. I Watch think Coach Boss did a really good job of reeling me back in and just kind of making me feel like, you know, you're not the only person that's ever gone through this or felt like this, and it just takes time. The more that they're here, the more that they have an opportunity to get settled into things and the culture of our program, the culture of the department and, and the university, the, the easier it gets. In the baseball world, everybody says, you get three hits out of 10, you're in the Hall of Fame, right? And I think it's really indicative of just the challenge that is baseball. It's not about one play or one at bat or one pitch. It's really about consistency over a really long period of time. So that's what I've learned in college. And if you can show up every day and be a guy that's gonna be consistent and have good at bats and show good effort, like you don't have to hit three home runs every game and win the game. You gotta just be there when your teammates expect you to be there. It's a process and it's definitely something you learn to live with and just the challenges of it. He's got a level head about him. He has a very good understanding of who he is and what he wants, where he's going, uh, and how to get there. And uh, very mature kid. It's a very tough game, a lot of failure, and just having him there as a person, just being like, hey, it's all right. We'll get him next time. It's baseball. Today's a good chance to beat a good team, beat your first Big Ten team, and then get rolling for next week. So let's have a good day, be aggressive. In the fall, you know, we asked him to take more of a leadership role, and he has taken it and run with it. And uh, I think he's the unquestioned leader on our team, um, which is, you know, an awful lot of fun to watch, especially if you go back to that, you know, uh, kid that was maybe a little bit unsure of himself at 18 years old. I think with each year I gained a little bit of confidence and I think it was through playing and I think it was through just evolving as a young man. It's important to me just because I've been there and I've been uncomfortable and I think I wanted somebody to do that and now that I'm in that position, hopefully there's guys that kind of recognize like, oh, I'm glad Jack's trying to make that effort and trying to help me out and hopefully, uh, you know, in a couple of years from now they'll look back and be like, you know, I'm happy he did that. I'm happy he helped me out because that's what I wanted. And so I'm just trying to pay it forward a little bit and do what I can. Jack has helped me on the field in a way that where I tend to struggle is like just getting too down on myself and having Jack, who's this upbeat guy, 
just at home after a game, we're just talking, he's making me laugh and kind of just forgetting about what happened so that the next day, next game, we can go into it with a clear mind. He will turn it on when he has to, and then he will be a goof when he doesn't have to. So I think that's a great quality that he has. He's doing a fantastic job of that. Stepping up, leading, he's doing amazing. We had a guy on the team last year, Wyatt Rush, who day one he said, my role as like a fifth year player is, I just wanna leave the program better than it was at the beginning. So that's kind of the same thing that I've taken on. And we're in a good place, but let's keep getting to a better place and a better place.